Well, hey, everybody out there. Welcome back to the channel. It's Chris here from JMNC Games, and today we are taking a look at the cooperative word game So Clover. It's for three to six players, ages 10 and up, and the average game time is just about uh, 30 minutes. If you haven't already done so, take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. We greatly do appreciate that, and it sure does help us grow. And if you feel so inclined, if the video has helped you in any way, you can support us directly by visiting the application Buy Me a Coffee. Now let's dive in and take a look at what's inside the box. So there are the keyword cards, the dry erase markers with erasers, and the clover boards. To set up, shuffle the keyword cards and place them face down in the center where everyone can reach. Each player will need a clover board, marker, and eraser. Each player will need to draw four keyword cards and make sure that the other players do not see what is on them. Now we're ready to start. The game is played over two phases. The first phase is the individual phase, and the second is the team phase. In the individual phase, players look at their cards. At no time during this phase should you allow other players to see your cards. You will see that each card has four sides and each side has a word on it. The player is trying to group together sets of cards so that they can be tied together using a one-word clue. So for example, if you had Lady and Bug you could put those two cards next to each other and could write on your clover a one-word clue like insect. The object being that later you will want your teammates to be able to see your cards and lay them out in the same manner. But there are four sides to this clover and you will have to have a one-word clue for each side that is touching the clover. So choose carefully which words you will want to pair together as it will also affect the other sides. Once you have figured out how the four cards are going to be placed and you have a clue for each side, you should remove all of the cards from your board. Draw an additional card from the deck. Shuffle all of your cards together and then place them to the side of your board until all players have completed the task. When all players have completed the individual phase, it's now time to start the team phase. One player should volunteer to be the first spectator. When you are the spectator, you move your clover board into the center of the playing area for all to see. You should also take your five shuffle cards and place them in the center. To be sure that everyone can read your clues, you should announce the four words that are written. After that, the spectator does not speak. When the others are ready, they go through the spectator's cards and they try to place them on the board using the clues that were given on the clover. Again, the spectator cannot say or indicate anything. Once the team has placed their cards how they think they should go, they look to the spectator. If all cards are placed correctly, congratulations! you get one point for each card plus an additional two points for getting it right on the first guess. If one or more cards are incorrect, the spectator, again saying nothing, removes the cards that are incorrect from the clover. The team can now try again, but be careful as this is your last attempt. Once the team is ready to try again, they look to the spectator who now shows which are correct. For every one card that is in the right position, you collect one point. Once this is complete, another player becomes the spectator and the process repeats until all players have done the same. In the end, you count up your overall team score to see how you've done. There is a score guide in the box to show you how you have done. If you wish to make the game a little bit more difficult, you can choose to add more than one card to your pile in the individual phase. And that's how you play So Clover. Thanks for joining us today. We sure hope you enjoyed our short explanation on So Clover. If you've got any questions, you can drop those down in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. And while you're there, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. We greatly do appreciate that. 
Now we know the basics, so let's play.